Hi, welcome to Wisdom of Photography. I'm Shmuel Diamond. Uh, please like this video. That could be seen as a payment for watching this video. Um, I just had to make this video because this is something that drives me crazy and I have to show you this. So here's a picture that um, I, I didn't take this picture. It was a wedding that we shot in Toronto a couple of weeks ago and I had a lovely lady called um, Des uh, Desiree who shot for me, who did a fantastic job. Um, but she shoots with a Nikon and her images were coming out to be around 10, between like 9 and 12 megabytes. She sh shot in RAW for herself. She gave me the JPEGs. I always shoot in JPEG exclusively, but I even shoot on the uh, large step. I don't even shoot on f large resolution. So usually my images are coming up to be between say two, even one and a half, two, three, very, very rarely do they exceed four megabytes. And I just wanted to show you this difference here in this picture. So let's look at this picture over here. You'll see they're both the same size. Now I'm not gonna tell you which was the original, which one isn't. Now, can we see any difference here? No, we're flicking from picture to picture and we can see, I can personally see no difference. So let's zoom in 100% and let's zoom in 100%. Okay, now, can we see any difference? I'm flicking, look, you can see here, I'm flicking from picture to picture. I personally, I don't know about your eyes, but I personally cannot see any difference. Let's go a little bit further. Let's go to 306%. Here we go. Ah, now I can see something. Kind of. Mm, mm, now, if you were to put a gun to my head at this point, and say, Shmuel, you have to tell me which one is better. I would sit there and I would go um, A, B, A, B. I really don't know, by the way, which one is the which one is the full res one and which one isn't. So I've got somebody trying to call me, um, but I love you more. Um, I'm going to say this one is the better one. Teeny, weeny bit more detail at 306%. Let's zoom back out again, so we can see the whole thing, so 25%, one second, okay, now let's have a look, so I think that I chose, I can't even remember which one, the truth is, it doesn't matter, look, the two pictures here, one is 9.16 megabytes, one is 2.48 megabytes, I crunched in in um, in Lightroom. I just ran this through the regular. Um, I didn't do any fancy settings. All I did was I just set it on Lightroom that the export should be. I'll just show you very quickly um, that the that it should export here at four thousand under four thousand k. Look at this. What what a no brainer. The difference of storage, the difference of, of, of image delivery, the image, the difference of the, the clients being able to deal with everything. It's a no brainer. We're, we're using so much space. We're shooting images that are so big and it's so unnecessary. It's such a no brainer to shoot on a much lower resolution. Shooting raw, shooting JPEG is a different question. Um, I also think that there's not that much to gain in event photography using RAW and a lot to lose. So I shoot JPEG, that's a different thing. But the idea of sending files above two or three megabytes, or even keeping files above two or three megabytes, uh, when you're printing pictures, we make albums generally, regular album size is like this. This big, this is 80 centimeters from side to side. These images occasionally, we have an image that spans the entire breadth of the image. This means it's an 80 centimeter image. This was shot at large uh, step on a Canon 5D, I think Mark II even, um, or even even a Mark, I don't know if it's a Mark I, probably Mark II. Um, it's just a fallacy and you should do some tests because what you've really got to gain is, um, is a lot of space a lot of time and a lot of headache and you can save your clients as well the headache of having to deal with all these crazy images because just remember they probably don't have a computer as powerful as you do as well anyway god bless please like and we will see you next week
قربست